fellow aligner providers and dental colleagues. Thank you so much for tuning in again. We've talked a lot about the Invisalign core game. On the outside of that sit the systems and structures that allow growth. We can split these up into marketing, the aligner journey, the delivery of the aligner service and the mindset mindfulness, you know, the unleashing of your inner Rocky to allow us to loop it all together. So let's start with the marketing aspect. I was asked by a couple of colleagues, can you just explain to us why marketing today isn't working? Can you explain to us why we have so many cowboys out there who promise the earth, but they don't deliver? Why is marketing today failing? And where is the marketing company who can deliver me a patient with £4,000 in their pocket, with a class one occlusion, with mild to moderate crowding, with mild rotations, who right now wants to go ahead? It's a loaded question, but I'm sure if we relate to what's happening with the world to our own lives, we can understand some of the challenges that exist today. So in 1740s, marketing, we can say, hit the, the modern world with the first kind of magazines that were released in America. We then transition 100 years down the road and within the 1830s, big billboards and posters started to emerge within the market. And we really now start to see a grasp of the psychology behind buying and how to get people's attention. In the 1920s, radio hit us. And radio was a great way to communicate and to target people. We all know, you know, that famous song, you know, video killed the radio store, right? MTV turns up, it's now the, the 70s and the 80s, and the TV has well and truly become the place in which you market. Think about the TV for a minute. If you are a company wishing to sell a product and you're hoping to sell that product during Britain's Got Talent, right? So Britain's Got Talent, you've got grandmas out there, someone of my age and the kids. How on earth can you personalize a product with a group of people where of different ranges and ages. So how do you target something? In today's world, we don't even watch the ads, right? If you're like me, yeah, you will uh, record the program and then after 20 minutes, start watching it and then just go fast forward your way through the ads. So TV and these old ways of marketing becoming less and less relevant and less and less effective. What we're seeing is that the internet has now taken over. It was around 2004 where Google social media marketing really kicked off. And the people that you see around you today who are doing really, really well were early adapters of this. If you're new to this today, you've got a problem because, you know, the boom has already happened. Today's marketing is all about personalization and micro-targeting. So just think about yet again, ragu or pasta sauce. You no longer have one pasta sauce. There's like 10 different varieties because we understand we need to personalize things. In today's aligner world, what we're realizing is generic random messages that go out to a population no longer work. What we need to do is to have them hit home with personalization and relevance. In the next couple of videos, we're going to go through how successful practices and providers do that. So guys, if you have enjoyed today, please like, please tag. What we need to do is understand the world is changing and so must we. Thanks a lot. Bye.